Hi, it's Sarah, and I'm going to show you how to create a vertical pin um, video inside. This is Premiere Pro. And so we're just going to go to File, New Project, and place it wherever you want, name it however you want, and hit OK. It's just like every other Premiere project, which is we're bringing in our elements. So the first thing we want is a pin video. So mine is 9 seconds long, 8 to 10 seconds long. And then we also want an image, like a still image, and it can be whatever you want. So we're going to take our still image, we're going to drag it, drag it and drop it in, and then we're going to bring in our video. And we're going to make the still image the same start and end length, so on your timeline, you're going to make those match. Then you're going to come up to Sequence and go to Sequence Settings, and you'll bring up this section here. We're actually going to change it. You do you, kitten, but I like 2 to 3, which is the Pinterest recommendation. So I've chosen 1,000 by 1,500. You can choose 600 by 900. You can choose 600 by 1,200 for 1 to 2. It's all about you. Either way, we're going to change the sequence here. And now you can see, look what happened to our preview. It's no longer this big 16 by 9. It's a vertical 1,000 by 1,500. Now that matters because what we're going to do is like we're going to double click in case you don't have this window come up. We're going to double click it and it's going to take us. We want to go to the effect control. So that's how you get here. And what we're going to do is we're going to pay attention to these two things which are position and scale. I want if this is over here is 1500 pixels long. I want my still image to be at the bottom. So I can see it down there, right? Here's my video and here's my still image. So we're going to leave that alone for just a sec. We're going to double click the that you can see now we're working in the MP4 effect controls for that as well. If you just click it once, sometimes it just comes up. I just want to let you know it. I have a problem with double clicking. And we want to raise this location of the video up so it's the 350 or some it's anywhere between 300 and you know 400 so I'm going to change the scale on this however because when I click down here I want the entire video to be seen and you can also go in here and um, you know do your effect controls like by the double clicking and moving it around with regard to um, just your control V instead of your effect controls over here you can just move it around with control V so um, move it back to where it was okay so now you can see when I play this thing down here you can see the whole video it's moving it's transitioning quickly just like all of our other you know when we talk about pin videos so now you can put those stacked together line them up and then you can export it that way or you can build what I like which is you go into your graphics tab and you create all this stuff so the first thing you create is um, like a pretty qualifier right here in the middle you can make it whatever color just by selecting and then we want to make it sure that it's the same length right as our other things and then I'm going to make another layer which is um, so this is GeoSans Light which means that'll be my attribution and you can write like recipe at ruffles.rainboos.com or whatever you want to write I don't know and then um, we also need to make it the same length as our image or as our videos and image and then the last thing we want to put, oops we may want to go in here and actually move this so hold on a sec move this to the yep and then now we want to go back to this new layer here and we're going to create oh I just created a vertical layer um, we're going to create a new text layer not a vertical and we're going to do Morden's we're going to spell, I'm just, this is my particular font I'm testing right now. So, s'mores, popcorn, and we're going to make it a bit bigger because we want it a little bigger so that they can see it. All right, let's try 108 kittens. Okay, so now we're, we're done, right? So we've got, oh, we're not done. We've got to pull this here. Now, when we play this thing, watch what happens. Look at that. You can see everything. I don't like where this stuff is, but I can move that really easily, okay? So just go back in here. Oops, I just created a new text. So we go back in here. This is my attribution here for ruffles.rainboots.com. So we're going to go, oh, I just created a stinking thing. We're going to move this down more. I don't like where it is. There we go. That should be fine. Yeah, there you go. Gives it a little more room. Okay, so now you're built, okay? So we're going to come up here to File. And now when you go to Export Media, I want to give you a couple of tips. Number one, if this isn't set on H.264, go ahead and swap it. You're, this is where you save it, you name it, and you save it. 
And then down here, don't export it yet because you're going to be left with like some gargantuan file. So down here under, it's called bitrate, and all you care about is you're going to set a basically a target and a max target. So I set mine at 10 and 12, which allows for a really beautiful, you know, easy transition video pin with no like gunky effects. Um, but it doesn't take up a huge amount of size, right? So here we have 11 megs and you can drop this. I would not recommend dropping it less than eight because when I did, it got a little wonky. So you do you and test what you like. I'm fine with 10 to 12 megs per video pin and then you just export and it's going to save it exactly where you want. And that's it for how you create a video pin with Adobe Premiere Pro. If you have any questions or if you have a better way to do it, I'm all yours. Okay. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks.